entitled mother told me to act and dress like a lady because I'm setting a bad example for her teenage daughter. M, so this happened when I took the train to school today. I'm a stocky built tomboy. I like loose, sporty clothes, baseball hats, and to keep my hair short and tied back. I'm not your stereotypical doll that society wants. So, I was just sitting on the train, minding my own business and scrolling Reddit on my phone. Then, this woman from the other side of the train car came up and told me that I needed to act and dress like a proper lady because I was setting a bad example for her daughter. Her daughter who's obviously a teen and dresses like a normal girl. I just looked at that lady and told her to frick off and mind her own business. She got angry and started screaming and cussing at me, saying I was a disgrace, yeah, and I'm already depressed enough, a whole bunch of other shit about how I needed to change to be a part of accepted society, that I was going to be nothing but useless, for a solid five minutes. And we were approaching the next station. The doors opened and I shoved her off with my forearms, making her land on her ass. Told her to go f asterisk ck herself and she was so dazed she didn't get up and on the train before the doors closed. But she did get up and started banging her fists on the doors, trying to open them as the train moved. I just flipped her the bird and watched as we left the station. So she was left at the stop with a bruised ass and I turned to her daughter, who had her face in her hands, apologized to her but said her mother deserved it, and then sat back down. I'll see if I get any grief about it tomorrow. But I already was having a bad enough day and didn't need that lady's sexist shit. Edit, to clarify, I pushed her off with my forearms as she was in my personal space in a pandemic. I'm also autistic and was doing everything in my power not to punch her in the face. And I wasn't going to listen to her screaming for the next 20 minutes until I got to my stop. I think I handled that well. Edit 2, someone just gave me my first platinum. I honestly have no words. M, thank you. Maybe I could have handled it better. But like I've stated, she was screaming in my face. Literally. For three minutes straight. And in a pandemic. She was insulting me, how I dress, how I am, and just tearing me down. I'm not going to put up with that and I just pushed her away. I wanted to punch her, but I didn't. I pushed her away from me. It just happened to be off the train. Edit 3, OMG. I went to sleep and woke up to a second platinum and a gold, along with other awards. Wow, thank you so much kind strangers. Also to clarify, I did make sure the daughter would be okay after I cooled off. She said she'd be fine and would wait for her mom at their stop. She did look totally embarrassed by her mother's actions too. And it was at 2 p.m. so way before sunset, still in daylight time. To all those saying I could have just walked away, she was literally in my face. To even stand up I had to push her back with my forearms because she refused to move. Then she kept trying to block me, cornered me. I just hit my limit. I hate being cornered and her screaming was so loud. I just reacted and removed her from my space the moment I could. Maybe I could have handled it better, but at that moment I just wanted her out of my space. Would you be able to put up with being cornered and verbally assaulted by a bitch with a nails on chalkboard voice? Edit 4, to clarify, this happened in Canada in the GTA. Not the US. Stop assuming everything was in the States. Edit 5, to the bitch who posted this on r slash not Lakethia Thurgirls, take. It down. Yeah, I got anger issues. And I'm sorry if I'm not all glitter glam and nice dressing. But when you get picked on girls wearing that, you get bitter to the styles. I do try to accept other styles, especially as my sister dresses like the other girls. Fine. That's her style. But not mine. Give me track pants and a loose tee any day. So I'm sorry if I came across bitter, but after what that on the train said about my looks, I am really hating fancy lady clothes right now. Edit 6, so. I've cooled off. It took a bit because I've been pretty high strung the past few days. I'd like to address a few issues. 1. The other girl, the daughter of the woman who verbally assaulted me, was 16. Not a child. She was not in any danger. She wasn't like 8. 
No, she was an older teenager. Driving age. She was also apologetic for her mother's actions. I also asked if she was going to be okay and she said she was. 2. I've never reacted well to being yelled at or having my personal space invaded. That's an autistic thing that while I have been working on, still isn't something I'm comfortable with, nor should I still be. 3. No, I wasn't in the right pushing her off the train. It was never my intent to do so. I was originally trying to push her away from me because she was literally screaming in my face, and I was sitting in my seat as far back as possible. To even stand up and move I had to push her away, so either way I was going to have to push her physically to get away. 4. Yes, she was stunned when she was pushed off. The train entrance is about a foot above the platform and has a stair to get up to it. And I've also landed on my but a few times, the shock from the impact does temporarily stun a person. Also, she was likely in shock over the fact she was pushed and pushed off the train. 5. I was contacted by the train service company and asked for my side, where I explained and told about my autism. The incident had been recorded on CCTV cameras and showed that she instigated the encounter and that she was within three feet of me which violated the train's COVID rules of giving at least three feet of space in social distance, as well as violating my personal space. I did apologize for the pushing and gave my side which was backed up by the footage. Three minutes of her yelling in my face before I finally had enough and pushed her away. I was not penalized for it as it was explained that I didn't instigate the fight, nor did I do something like punch her. I was also told that should she try to come at me or then that they would use the footage as proof of her instigating. They did ask that I not try to push people of the trains, and I did say that I'd do my best. 6. I know it got heated in the comments about the dress issue. I'd like to clarify that this all started because I wore a t-shirt, sports jacket, a cap, and hiking boots. Most of my female and feminine-oriented peers wear more of the feminine clothing, like what you'd see at Garage and Clio. The entire issue was basically because I don't wear those brand-style clothing. I do know that I'm jaded to people who are like that, and that's been linked to the bullying I experienced in high school. I did used to wear more feminine clothes pre-middle school, but when I got bullied and shamed for being on the chunky side, I started wearing looser clothing and eventually began to enjoy the more sporty style of unisex tees and loose clothing. I've never really liked tight clothing, so finding these looser styles that didn't draw attention to me suited me just fine, and still do. I am on a waiting list for a therapist to deal with the anger issues I developed from high school bullying, but they are expensive and not covered by OHIP, which is an issue for me as I am from a lower income family and am barely affording university as it is and the physical stuff did derive from mostly being picked on by guys, and my parents told me that if they swing, swing back. At that point it was because I was being tripped, punched, and even had rocks thrown at me. Kids are evil in middle and high school, and it got to a point the only way to defend myself was to become less of an easy target and more of a, if you don't want a broken nose, leave me alone target. I'm not proud of it, but it only took until grade 10 to be left alone as I was taller than most of the boys at that time, their growth spurts hadn't hit, mine had, and it usually took a broken nose or black eyes to get them to leave me alone. Also, I couldn't switch schools because my family couldn't afford to move elsewhere, and this school was the only one in our area unless I wanted French immersion, and I sucked at French. 7. The entire reason this post even exists was as a vent. This happened, it upset me, this lady was nuts, and I reacted. That was it. The fact that it was turned into from her being the entitled mother, the entire point of this subreddit, into attacks on my reaction to being basically assaulted, is absolutely unacceptable. Would you, those who came at me, not react the same? Or would you sit there and let yourself be insulted, screamed at, and shamed, because that person just didn't like what you were wearing? And I've read your profiles, you can't lie. All I did was to come here and vent about that lady. That was it. That. Was. It. Being attacked like that was extremely cruel and against the Reddit code of conduct. Now I'm requesting that comments be locked because obviously, there are a lot of bullies and trolls here who are focusing on my reaction, instead of the entire situation.
Thank you.